Phospholipase D, Wikipedia article audio. Phospholipase D is an enzyme of the phospholipase superfamily. Phospholipases occur widely, and can be found in a wide range of organisms, including bacteria, yeast, plants, animals, and viruses. Phospholipase D's principal substrate is phosphatidylcholine, which it hydrolyzes to produce the signal molecule phosphatidic acid, and soluble choline. Plants contain numerous genes that encode various PLD isoenzymes, with molecular weights ranging from 90 to 125 keta. Mammalian cells encode two isoforms of phospholipase D, PLD1 and PLD2. Phospholipase D is an important player in many physiological processes, including membrane trafficking, cytoskeletal reorganization, receptor-mediated endocytosis, exocytosis, and cell migration. Through these processes, it has been further implicated in the pathophysiology of multiple diseases, in particular the progression of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, as well as various cancers. Discovery PLD type activity was first reported in 1947 by Donald J. Hanahan and I.L. Chekhov. It was not until 1975, however, that the hydrolytic mechanism of action was elucidated in mammalian cells. Plant isoforms of PLD were first purified from cabbage and castor bean. PLD alpha was ultimately cloned and characterized from a variety of plants, including rice, corn, and tomato. Plant PLDs have been cloned in three isoforms PLD alpha, PLD beta, and PLD gamma. More than half a century of biochemical studies have implicated phospholipase D and PA activity in a wide range of physiological processes and diseases including inflammation, diabetes, phagocytosis, neuronal and cardiac signaling, and oncogenesis. Strictly speaking, phospholipase D is a transphosphatidylase, it mediates the exchange of polar head groups covalently attached to membrane-bound lipids. Utilizing water as a nucleophile, this enzyme catalyzes the cleavage of the phosphodiester bond in structural phospholipids such as phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylethanolamine. The products of this hydrolysis are the membrane-bound lipid phosphatidic acid, and choline, which diffuses into the cytosol. As choline has little second messenger activity, PLD activity is mostly transduced by the production of PA. PA is heavily involved in intracellular signal transduction. In addition, some members of the PLD superfamily may employ primary alcohols such as ethanol or 1-butanol in the cleavage of the phospholipid, effectively catalyzing the exchange the polar lipid head group. Other members of this family are able to hydrolyze other phospholipid substrates, such as cardiolipin or even the phosphodiester bond constituting the backbone of DNA. Function Many of phospholipase D's cellular functions are mediated by its principal product, phosphatidic acid. PA is a negatively charged phospholipid, whose small head group promotes membrane curvature. It is thus thought to facilitate membrane vesicle fusion and fission in a manner analogous to clathrin-mediated endocytosis. PA may also recruit proteins that contain its corresponding binding domain, a region characterized by basic amino acid-rich regions. Additionally, PA can be converted into a number of other lipids, such as lysophosphatidic acid or diacylglycerol signal molecules which have a multitude of effects on downstream cellular pathways. PA and its lipid derivatives are implicated in myriad processes that include intracellular vesicle trafficking, 
endocytosis, exocytosis, actin cytoskeleton dynamics, cell proliferation differentiation, and migration. Phosphatidic acid Mammalian PLD directly interacts with kinases like PKC, ERK, TYK, and controls the signaling indicating that PLD is activated by these kinases. As choline is very abundant in the cell, PLD activity does not significantly affect choline levels, and choline is unlikely to play any role in signaling. Structure Phosphatidic acid is a signal molecule and acts to recruit SK1 to membranes. PA is extremely short-lived and is rapidly hydrolyzed by the enzyme phosphatidate phosphatase to form diacylglycerol. DAG may also be converted to PA by DAG kinase. Although PA and DAG are interconvertible, they do not act in the same pathways. Stimuli that activate PLD do not activate enzymes downstream of DAG and vice versa. Mechanism of Action It is possible that, though PA and DAG are interconvertible, separate pools of signaling and non-signaling lipids may be maintained. Studies have suggested that DAG signaling is mediated by polyunsaturated DAG while PLD-derived PA is monounsaturated or saturated. Thus functional saturated slash monounsaturated PA can be degraded by hydrolyzing it to form non-functional saturated slash monounsaturated DAG while functional polyunsaturated DAG can be degraded by converting it into non-functional polyunsaturated PA. Isoforms A lysophospholipase D called autotaxin was recently identified as having an important role in cell proliferation through its product, lysophosphatidic acid. Plant and animal PLDs have a consistent molecular structure, characterized by sites of catalysis surrounded by an assortment of regulatory sequences. The active site of PLDs consists of four highly conserved amino acid sequences, of which motifs 2 and 4 are particularly conserved. These structural domains contain the distinguishing catalytic sequence HXXXXXXXXKXD, where H, K, and D are the amino acids histidine, lysine, aspartic acid, while X represents non-conservative amino acids. These two HKD motifs confer hydrolytic activity to PLD, and are critical for its enzymatic activity both in vitro and in vivo. Hydrolysis of the phosphodiester bond occurs when these HKD sequences are in the correct proximity. PLD1 PLD2 Regulation C2 Domain Human proteins containing this motif include PC hydrolyzing PLD is a homologue of cardiolipin synthase, phosphatidylserine synthase, bacterial PLDs, and viral proteins. Each of these appears to possess a domain duplication which is apparent by the presence of two HKD motifs containing well-conserved histidine, lysine, and asparagin residues which may contribute to the active site aspartic acid. An Escherichia coli endonuclease and similar proteins appear to be PLD homologues but possess only one of these motifs. PLD genes additionally encode highly conserved regulatory domains, the LBOX consensus sequence, the plextrin homology domain, and a binding site for phosphatidylinositol 4,5 bisphosphate. PLD catalyzed hydrolysis has been proposed to occur in two stages via a ping pong mechanism. In this scheme, the histidine residues of each HKD motif successively attack the phospholipid substrate. Functioning as nucleophiles, the constituent imidazole moieties of the histidines form transient covalent bonds with the phospholipid, 
producing a short-lived intermediate that can be easily hydrolyzed by water in a subsequent step. Two major isoforms of phospholipase D has been identified in mammalian cells, PLD1 and PLD2, each encoded by distinct genes. PLD activity appears to be present in most cell types, with the possible exceptions of peripheral leukocytes and other lymphocytes. Both PLD isoforms require PIP2 as a cofactor for activity. PLD1 and PLD2 exhibit different subcellular localizations that dynamically change in the course of signal transduction. PLD activity has been observed within the plasma membrane, cytosol, ER, and Golgi complex. PLD1 is a 120 kata protein that is mainly located on the inner membranes of cells. It is primarily present at the Golgi complex, endosomes, lysosomes, and secretory granules. Upon the binding of an extracellular stimulus, PLD1 is transported to the plasma membrane. Basal PLD1 activity is low however, and in order to transduce the extracellular signal, it must first be activated by proteins such as ARF, Rho, RAC, and protein kinase C. In contrast, PLD2 is a 106 kata protein that primarily localizes to the plasma membrane, residing in light membrane lipid rafts. It has high intrinsic catalytic activity, and is only weakly activated by the above molecules. The activity of phospholipase D is extensively regulated by hormones, neurotransmitters, lipids, small monomeric GT-PASase, and other small molecules that bind to their corresponding domains on the enzyme. In most cases, signal transduction is mediated through production of phosphatidic acid, which functions as a secondary messenger. Specific phospholipids are regulators of PLD activity in plant and animal cells. Most PLDs require phosphatidylinositol 4,5 bisphosphate, as a cofactors for activity. PIP2 and other phosphoinositides are important modifiers of cytoskeletal dynamics and membrane transport. PLDs regulated by these phospholipids are commonly involved in intracellular signal transduction. Their activity is dependent upon the binding of these phosphoinositides near the active site. In plants and animals, this binding site is characterized by the presence of a conserved sequence of basic and aromatic amino acids. In plants such as Arabidopsis thaliana, this sequence is constituted by a RXXXXXKXR motif together with its inverted repeat, where R is arginine and K is lysine. Its proximity to the active site ensures high level of PLD1 and PLD2 activity, and promotes the translocation of PLD1 to target membranes in response to extracellular signals. PGS1, PLD1 PLD2, PLD3, PLD4, PLD5 Substrate presentation controls PLD activity. The enzyme resides inactive in lipid microdomains rich in sphingomyelin and depleted of PC substrate. Activation of PLD causes the enzyme to translocate to PIP2 microdomains near its substrate PC. Hence PLD can be activated by localization within the membrane rather than a protein conformational change. Calcium acts as a cofactor in PLD isoforms that contain the C2 domain. Binding of Ca2 plus to the C2 domain leads to conformational changes in the enzyme that strengthen enzyme substrate binding, while weakening the association with phosphoinositides. In some plant isoenzymes, such as PLD-beta, Ca2 plus may bind directly to the active site, 
indirectly increasing its affinity for the substrate by strengthening the binding of the activator PIP2. The LBOX consensus sequence is thought to mediate the binding of additional phosphatidylinositol phosphates, in particular, phosphatidylinositol 5 phosphate, a lipid thought to be required for endocytosis, may help facilitate the reinternalization of PLD1 from the plasma membrane. The highly conserved plextrin homology domain is a structural domain approximately 120 amino acids in length. It binds phosphatidylinositides such as phosphatidylinositol trisphosphate and phosphatidylinositol bisphosphate. It may also bind heterotrimeric G proteins via their beta-gamma subunit. Binding to this domain is also thought to facilitate the re-internalization of the protein by increasing its affinity to endocytotic lipid rafts. In animal cells, small protein factors are important additional regulators of PLD activity. These small monomeric GT posses are members of the Rho and ARF families of the RAS superfamily. Some of these proteins, such as RAC1, CDC42, and ROA, allosterically activate mammalian PLD1, directly increasing its activity. In particular, the translocation of cytosolic ADP ribosylation factor to the plasma membrane is essential for PLD activation. Phospholipase D is a regulator of several critical cellular processes including vesicle transport, endocytosis, exocytosis, cell migration, and mitosis. Dysregulation of these processes is commonplace in carcinogenesis, and in turn, abnormalities in PLD expression have been implicated in the progression of several types cancer. A driver mutation conferring elevated PLD2 activity has been observed in several malignant breast cancers. Elevated PLD expression has also been correlated with tumor size in colorectal carcinoma, gastric carcinoma, and renal cancer. However, the molecular pathways through which PLD drives cancer progression remain unclear. One potential hypothesis casts a critical role for phospholipase D in the activation of MTOR, a suppressor of cancer cell apoptosis. The ability of PLD to suppress apoptosis in cells with elevated tyrosine kinase activity makes it a candidate oncogene in cancers where such expression is typical. Phospholipase D may also play an important pathophysiological role in the progression of neurodegenerative diseases, primarily through its capacity as a signal transducer in indispensable cellular processes like cytoskeletal reorganization and vesicle trafficking. Dysregulation of PLD by the protein alpha-synuclein has been shown to lead to the specific loss of dopaminergic neurons in mammals. Alpha-synuclein is the primary structural component of Lewy bodies, protein aggregates that are the hallmarks of Parkinson's disease. Disinhibition of PLD by alpha-synuclein may contribute to Parkinson's deleterious phenotype. Abnormal PLD activity has also been suspected in Alzheimer's disease, where it has been observed to interact with presenilin-1 the principal component of the gamma secretase complex responsible for the enzymatic cleavage of amyloid precursor protein. Extracellular plagues of the product beta amyloid are a defining feature of Alzheimer's diseased brains. Action of PLD1 on PS1 has been shown to affect the intracellular trafficking of the amyloid precursor to this complex. Phospholipase D3 a non-classical and poorly characterized member of the PLD superfamily, has also been associated with the pathogenesis of this disease. Phosphatidylcholine Phosphatidate Choline Phospholipase cleavage sites 
This article incorporates text from the public domain PFM and Interpro IPR 001734. PX Domain PH Domain Interactions with small GT passes. Physiological and pathophysiological roles In cancer In neurodegenerative diseases Gallery